put you back in your tree, mate. Come on. Up you go. Long life. Long life, mate. We have a taxidermy koala with fresh koala fur up a tree. I'm going to show you what Taylor does when she responds to the live animal or the fur up a tree. Taylor. Koala. Fine. There's my little sitting superstar. She first alerted about 20 meters down this hill, and then we looked up. There we go, there's Koala right in the middle of the screen. Thanks to my clever little spaniel. Yes! Good yeah. girl! Oh. You can have the ball! You can have the ball! G'day, I'm Ryan Tate, a professional dog trainer, and this here is Taylor my four-year-old English Springer Spaniel who is a koala detection dog. Taylor and I have been finding koalas together for three years now, all up and down the east coast of Australia. She's trained to sniff out their fur and their scats. In ideal conditions, the, where the air is still, the smell of the animal actually drops down from the tree and Taylor can smell them. She'll sit right below them and point up to them and show us where they are. In high wind conditions or in difficult conditions, she's also trained to find their scats. And when she finds fresh scats, we can let the expert koala spotters know where the scats are and they will scan the canopy and usually find the animal. To date on the fire grounds, Taylor has been responsible for locating eight animals. Some of them have gone into the koala hospital here in Port Macquarie for treatment and ongoing care. Others have deemed to be safe, fit and in good areas. Over her lifetime, she's found over 50 koalas and literally thousands of poos. Taylor is also trained to find quolls, foxes, cats and rats and rabbits. She knows based on some verbal cues that I give her, as well as what equipment I bring and who I'm working with, what we're searching for. That means she is able to ignore foxes when we're looking for koalas and vice versa with a variety of other animals. She comes from a litter of professional detection dogs. Every dog in her litter are now working around Australia conserving animals. 